This is part two in the Baxter's Move Guide to a Stress-Free Move. If you haven't watched part one yet, there is a link in the description below and at the end of this video. You'll also find a link in the description so you can download the full Baxter's Move Guide to a Stress-Free Move. As we said in the first video, we believe the best way to plan your move is on a time schedule. Planning from around six to eight weeks and two to three weeks to the week before and of course the big day itself. Now, if you're packing or partially packing yourself, about a few days before the move, you want to make sure you've enough boxes and materials to finish the job. This is also the time to go through your list of the jobs you are doing and the jobs you've agreed your remover will be doing, such as dismantling the beds, removing curtains and blinds. Now, let's go through a few useful tips to bear in mind the week before you move. To make life easier, leave drawer contents, unless of course they're heavy or fragile. In the case of divan drawers, make sure they're empty, unless it's just a duvet. Use space in trunks or ottomans to place light, non-fragile items, such as toys. Very important, separate any flammables and arrange to take them with you or dispose of. Make sure petrol lawn mowers, strimmers, are fully drained before the move. Gather any small plants you have and place them in plastic trays if possible. Larger plants can be moved as they are. And remember, don't water any plants the day before moving. Allocate an area to gather items you do not want loaded, such as cleaning materials, keys, laptops, chargers, bags, kettles, etc. Make sure you clearly identify this area or pack them in the car yourself and lock the car. Make arrangements if you haven't already and confirm them that childcare and animal care on the moving day is booked. Make sure all boxes are clearly marked and labelled and closed correctly as per your mover's instructions. Now this is also a good time to start cleaning as you go. This will save you a mad dash clean on moving day. Make sure a few days before that you have all the documents for your move, which of course, if you watch part one, are all in your moving folder. Now, here comes the big day. And on moving day itself, the best advice we can give you is to get up early and relax. There is no need to panic, especially if you followed the guide over the last two months, and even more so if you've booked a Baxter's move. First job, take the bedding off the beds and pack that up. Make sure you load everything that you're taking yourself in the car and lock it. Now, when your removers arrive, walk them through the house and tell them what you need them to do. But do remember, these guys are experts. They do this every day. So always listen to their advice on the actual loading. Check your removers know where they are going. Always a good idea to double check the address of your new home is correct. Leave a note of your name, new address and contact number for the new residents so they can forward any mail that may get missed by the redirect. Have a final walk around the house to check you've remembered everything. Do this before the removal van leaves. Record your meter readings, gas, electric and water and take a picture if possible. Make sure you have the right keys for your new home and drop off your old keys as you have arranged. Finally, switch everything off, lock up and leave. The first thing to do when you arrive at your new home is to check all utilities are working. Power, gas, water, etc. And call the utilities company straight away if there's a problem. A good way to check the water is working is to make a nice cup of tea and relax for five minutes. Record your meter readings, gas, electric and water in the new house. And again, take a picture if possible. Supervise the unloading process to get everything where you want it. Start cleaning as you go before you start unpacking. When you're unpacking, start unpacking with your essentials first, then continue unpacking logically, working down from essential to non-essential items. Reassemble your furniture, beds first if possible, 
it's likely to have been a long day and you will more likely want your bed assembled at the end of it rather than the table football. Get all your major appliances ready for use again and connect them up. Now in the first few days after the move, check your mail is being redirected and the redirect is active. Register with a doctor's, dentist, etc. if you've not done already. If necessary, change your driver's license and car details. Once you've unpacked and you're settled in, check with your remover as they may collect the boxes from you for recycling. Now I do hope these videos and the guide have been useful for you and whether you're moving with Baxter's Move in Lancashire or another remover is looking after you, we wish you a stress-free move to your new home. Thanks very much for watching and please do give the video a thumbs up and do share with anyone you know who's moving house. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.